there is uh, an enormous amount of interest amongst uh, consumers in the connected car and frankly you have a lot of consumers already engaged with the connected cars. Um, you know, there are many millions of vehicles out there on the road that have Bluetooth and some level of connectivity. Um, what we're seeing is uh, pretty rapid adoption of it um, in, depending on brand. Um, Ford obviously with uh, Ford Sync has uh, got very high levels of adoption and then there has been pretty high levels of adoption with luxury cars. Um, while you read a lot about the levels of satisfaction with those technologies, what is really interesting is once people crack the code and understand what it is and appreciate what it's capable of doing, um, they really can't do without it. Um, over 90% of people that currently have uh, Ford uh, My Touch um, would not consider another vehicle without it. So it's, uh, it's an extremely important technology and it's, a, it's seen by the OEMs as being a very keen, key differentiator between their brands and other brands. So um, very, very important, high level of interest, but I'd have to say also a high level of consumer confusion about what it is. Part of the problem here is that vehicle ownership in the United States, it is an all-time uh, high in terms of length of ownership. The average car on the, on the road in the United States is 11.4 years old. And so you've got people coming in to the market who have been many generations out of touch. They probably had 10 cell phones in that same period, but they're only, this is their first new car. So there's a lot of education required in the industry um, by the OEMs and by salespeople. So uh, it's, it's the wild west at the moment.